which is better, a chemical peel or laser skin resurfacing? If the goal of resurfacing is skin tightening and collagen stimulation, laser skin resurfacing offers generally better results than a chemical peel. Chemical peels and laser resurfacing are two different ways to get to the same endpoint. The idea of both are to exfoliate the skin and improve skin texture, wrinkles, sun damage, and brown spots. There are almost endless types of both chemical peels and lasers that target texture or pigmentation or both. The choice of which is ideal for you depends on your skin type, what you want to address, your downtime, and your goal. Here's a quick guide. How long do the effects of laser skin resurfacing last? Laser skin resurfacing results last a lifetime, but the laser does not stop the effects of time. Your skin will continue to age as time marches on. The best way to keep your skin looking youthful is to protect it from the sun with at least SPF 30, combination sunblock and sunscreen. Also wear hats when in direct sunlight, avoid stress, smoking, dehydration, and excessive drinking. Always wash your face before bed and use a nourishing moisturizer. Vitamin C and hyaluronic acid serums are also great for brightening and plumping the epidermis. Weekly exfoliation and facials are also great ways to remove dead skin cells, allowing newer skin to emerge. How long does a chemical peel last? A chemical peel is permanent, but the new outer layer skin will still be vulnerable to the effects of the environment and aging. Think of a chemical peel as a deep exfoliation of the outer layers of the skin. As time goes on, your skin will continue to age, which is why regular chemical peels are a great idea and a way to keep you looking fresh and help ward off aging. As I mentioned, prevention is the best medicine. The sun and internal stress are the two main contributors to skin aging. Make sure to wear sunscreen and take the same precautions as with a laser to maintain your investment in your new fresh skin. Does laser skin resurfacing really work? Laser skin resurfacing does really work for diminishing wrinkles, improving skin texture and tone, treating crow's feet, dark spots, and improving acne scars. The laser removes the sun-damaged skin, allowing for the fresher, more youthful skin to re-emerge. Sun damage and hyperpigmentation are improved while sagging and wrinkling skin is tightened. I use both non-ablative and ablative lasers to treat my patients. They work differently to reach similar goals. Non-ablative lasers require less downtime, but require multiple treatments, while ablative lasers are typically a one-time treatment with longer downtime. Non-ablative lasers heat the underlying layers of skin without treating the top layer of skin. As collagen is stimulated, cell turnover increases, bringing fresh new skin to the surface. There is less redness and swelling following this procedure versus ablative laser treatment. Ablative lasers remove the top layer of skin and heat the underlying layers of skin. The choice in laser is dependent on the patient's needs and lifestyle. For those that can't have the downtime of an ablative laser treatment, the non-ablative lasers are a great choice. Non-ablative lasers are also a better choice for patients who do not have much wrinkling or sagging, are more concerned with sun damage, hyperpigmentation, melasma, skin tone, texture, and or acne scars. For my patients who have moderate aging, and would rather a one-time treatment solution, I recommend an ablative laser. As long as the patient can recover at home for at least two weeks, this treatment will take years off of your appearance. In general, the downtime correlates with the result. The more downtime you have, the more dramatic of a result you can achieve. Prepping for either treatment is important for the success of the procedure. Open wounds, breakouts, or infections need to be resolved before any laser treatment. I always require that my patients discontinue any retinoids for at least two weeks before the procedure. For those prone to cold sores, I prescribe a preventative medication to be used prior to and after the treatment. Is laser skin resurfacing painful? Non-ablative lasers are minimally painful. When I perform non-ablative skin resurfacing, I use a very effective numbing cream to ensure my patient's comfort. Most patients say that the procedure is more comfortable than they thought it would be. For fully ablative CO2 resurfacing, IV sedation or general anesthesia is required. Therefore, there's no pain during the procedure. After the procedure, I apply a covering over the skin for three days that acts like a second skin and keeps it moisturized and from being uncomfortable. The areas that aren't covered, like the nose and the mouth, feel like a sunburn for that evening and then don't have any discomfort. Post-treatment pain varies according to which laser is used. For non-ablative laser resurfacing, over-the-counter pain medication is sufficient in alleviating any discomfort, if that is even needed. Most people do not need any pain medication. Using ice and cool air for the first day is useful. For ablative laser resurfacing, pain medications are available, but not usually needed. How much does laser skin resurfacing cost? 
Laser skin resurfacing ranges between $600 to $6,000 in Houston. It largely depends on which areas are treated and the types of laser used along with your choice of physician. After a consultation, I can better assess your needs and recommend which laser procedure is best for you along with a quote on a cost. Have questions? I'd sincerely love to help. Call or email anytime. Thanks for watching.